रिडक्शन करके दो फेजेस में निकलता है फर्स्ट इज रिडक्शन मेथड दैट इज रो रिडक्शन करना है कॉलम रिडक्शन करना है और उसके बाद ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वाला प्रोसेस लगाना है गुड आफ्टरनून क्लास तो माई सेल्फ प्रियंका गुदारा हेयर अगेन टू डिस्कस द सी एस सी यू पी एस सी सी एस सी पेपर टू मैथ्स ऑप्शनल इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड पेपर वन एंड दिस इज द सेशन फॉर डिस्कसिंग पेपर टू See, maths optional paper contains eight questions. In paper, we have to do five questions, but here I have to solve all the eight questions. Therefore, we will discuss the approach how to approach the questions. That how to which question, how which formula and which method to apply from where the question was asked, and we will discuss which is the which is the area where UPSC is focusing upon these days or in recent years, so that. whenever you are going to prepare for next year or next to next year you have a basic idea ki how much we need to cover from how from where we need to cover and which is your more secure mark scoring scoring area which is the area where you can lesser focus upon or you can do bare minimum so that you don't miss out upon the compulsory questions right before going to discussing the paper completely we will let's see what is the paper 2 syllabus of the paper 2 and which are the units they are part of paper 2 so in paper 2 of mathematics optional we have seven units six units in paper 1 seven units in paper 2 the so first unit is modern algebra then second is real analysis third unit is complex analysis and then fourth unit is linear programming problem this comes under section a of paper 1 section a paper 2 then we have section 2 or section b section b in section b we have three units fifth unit is fifth in unit in the entire syllabus is partial differential equation then you do have numerical analysis i and computer programming and the seventh and last one is that not statics and diamond dynamics statics and dynamics is part of paper 1 here we do have fluid dynamics and mechanics and mechanics usually people found, found that, that is the usual perception that people paper 2 is some bit harder than paper 1 it, it is the perception among the students it is not the reality the reality is paper 2 is not that much much harder but the reason behind its perception is that it is most of the subject here may be unrelative or maybe unfamiliar to the student that is why they feel that this paper is harder than paper 1 because in paper 1 we have most of the syllabus or 90 90% of the syllabus which we have covered in a curved covered in our graduation subject but whenever when it comes to paper 2 then we have most of the abstract subject like modern algebra is completely abstract you don't have kind of calculation there that by calculation you can solve that we face in our calculus paper wahan maxima minima nikalna hota hai limit nikalni hoti hai but here we don't have that that kind of thing then we have real analysis real analysis is in continuity with complex con calculus real calculus but in calculus you have calculative portion there is integration differentiation 
and application of integration and differentiation then area volume and that kind of thing and that is familiar to us that most of the students have their background where they have studied the, those topics but in real analysis we face the pro, face the the topics like Riemann integral and all those then we have improper integral integral and all those things so these also a type of uh, what I will say abstract topic here also you have to deal with different kind of aptitude as we usually see mathematics as a part of addition subtraction and multiplication but this is beyond that and that is why people face difficulty here because they sometimes what happens they have the calculative aptitude but they cannot think abstractively and that is why the relativity here decreases among the students and they say that paper 2 is difficult but whenever you will realize the toppers marks who have scored well or decent marks in mathematics optional in UPSC CSC has scored very high marks in paper 2 this is because yes scaling is one of the factor okay scaling creates different that paper 2 is difficult so there would be scaling on the lesser lesser part or paper 1 is easier so scaling may be higher at there but the reason is if somebody has covered this paper with some amount of efforts then this is manageable the paper 2 is very much manageable and you don't have that much of scope ki kuch bhi bahar se aa jayega once you have done the syllabus then there is see here you cannot do calculation mistake kind of thing in paper 2 there are lesser chances of calculation mistake why why because we have calculations in numerical and LPP but numerical and LPP the solution questions of numerical and LPP can be solved using calculator you just need to write the step for everything else if you have good command on the operations of calculator then everything would be done by calculator and the the most use of the calculator is done in paper 2 of mathematics Hana? numerical LPP all thing would be covered there and then it comes to modern algebra and real analysis there is no as such calculation so we don't have calculation the scope of calculation mistake and that is why if you have theoretically strong or if you have an aptitude of what i say aptitude of abstract thinking that you can think abstractly you can relate the things you can assume groups and rings kind of thing then it is going to be a very high scoring paper so let's discuss what they have asked in this year paper. So <coughs> this, these are units, modern algebra, real, real analysis, complex, then LPP, partial differential equation, numerical and computer programming, then fluid dynamics and mechanics. So all these seven units have more or less same similar weightage. Only thing that this year changed was since last two years, we are getting only 25 to 30 marks in real analysis else everything has same or less or marks same more or less they have same marks so let's see the distribution or questions how they have asked so they are saying first question is from modern algebra let g be a group and in modern algebra that too from group theory group theory is something that everybody covers now because this is very basic and people don't do not usually face problem here but the question this year asked from group theory and modern algebra are more kind of application based based that they you have read the result but how would you apply it, it is the application of those results so let g be a group of order 10 that is order of g is n and g dash is a group of order 6 another group whose order is 6 examine whether there exists a homomorphism of g onto g dash so let we will assume let f g to g dash is a homomorphism. And if it is a homomorphism, then what we need to do, what does the theory of group homomorphism or fundamental theorem of group homomorphism says that if it is a group of this, homomorphism then the fundamental theory theorem of homomorphism what is the fundamental theorem of homomorphism group homomorphism
f by kernel of g f by kernel of f not f by kernel of f whatever is the domain that is if domain is g g over kernel of f that is the function f is isomorphic to some function not function image of f dash g hai na wo uske isomorphic hoti hai let me show you how to write this i have solved this paper and from there it would take lesser time the fundamental theorem of group homomorphism let me write it says that according to fundamental theorem of homomorphism to fundamental theorem of group homomorphism g by kernel of f that is the function kernel of f would be isomorphic to f of g and they are saying the homomorphism should be on to homomorphism if a is an on to homomorphism we will assume that this and whenever we have this on to homomorphism then then this f of g is nothing but the entire codomain and this is equal to g dash so fundamental theorem of homomorphism says that if you have this kind of thing g that the, there exists a fundamental not fundamental there exists a mapping which is on to homomorphism from g to g dash then g by kernel of f would be g by kernel of f would be isomorphic to g dash and if this happens then tell me kernel of f is from here we will use in kernel of f is is a subgroup of the g that is domain it would be a subgroup of g and then lagrangian theorem of group lagrangian theorem theorem of group says kya kehta hai every subgroup For every subgroup divides order of every subgroup कर दीजिए order of every subgroup divides order of its group order of its group so that means order of kernel of G kernel of F should be a divisor of order of G and they said order of g is equal to 10 so order of kernel of f can have only choices are either it would be 1 or 2 or 5 and 10 this would be order of this now if this divides this then what is order of g by h we have another result order of g by h is nothing but order of g by order of h and again we have a, a we have an a result that if something is iso one group is isomorphic to other then both order of both of the group would be same it cannot be different so we will use these results now if order of kernel of f is 1 then order of g by first case we will take order of kernel of f is equal to 1 this implies order of g by kernel of f is going to be 10 by 1 that is 1 that is 10 na nah? but this cannot be 10 because order of g dash is equal to 6 on that side this and here order of what order of g dash is equal to 6 so this cannot be isomorphic to that so this is the, the this case does not happen second thing there is chance that order of kernel of f is equal to 2 and as soon as the order of kernel of f turns out to be 2 then order of g by kernel of f becomes 10 by 2 that is 5 and but order of g dash is again 6 so here we don't have 6 now it is 5 and both of them them cannot be isomorphic so third case we will discuss and third case says that order of kernel of f can be 
equal to 5 and but at that time if order of kernel of f is 5 then order of g by kernel of f is going to be n by 5 and that is 2 but again order of g dash is 6 and this is not possible last case is order of kernel of f may be fourth case is order of kernel of f may be 10 and if this is 10 then order of g by kernel of f is going to be 10 by 10 that is 1. So none of the order here is equal to 6 and this cannot be isomorphic to order of g dash and hence that we have supposed that f is an on to hypomorphism that is not correct and that is why there does not exist any hypo any homomorphism which is g on to g g dash and that is how you need to proceed just application of two results with which two results we need to apply these two results fundamental theorem of group homomorphism and then you need to apply lagrange's theorem of group this is says so these two results and your answer is there this is application of these two results next Express the ideal this as principal ideal in the integral domain z. How would you express? See, there is one result that every ideal in the field of z is a principal ideal. Every ideal in the integral domain z result says that every ideal in integral domain Z is a principal ideal. And what is a principal ideal? An ideal which can be generated by prime numbers or one numbers. That is principal ideal. So if every this is equal to I can write we need to express this into prime principal ideal form. Then can we write this as 4z is plus 6z is equal to 2 times common and then it is going to be 2z plus 3z. This is again one of the ideal. And 2 is this. So can I say that this is nothing but this would form z and this is contained into 2z. Right? This is contained into 2z now. This is how algebra works. So in modern algebra if you have not covered this then this would be covered after some time. And this is contained into 2z. Again 2z and ideal 2z can be written as any element of 2z can be written as some 4t plus fix w because we want to make this of that type and this if all the elements can be written in this format then this implies 2z is contained into 4t plus 6w or 6t you can write whatever you want to and that is why both ways this element is contained into this and hence 4z plus 6z is equal to 2z another way to do this is if you are not able to think that much then you can say that every ideal is in z is a principal ideal and that is why 4z plus 6z is one of the ideal of this integral domain z then it must be principal ideal and if it is principal ideal then it would be contained into some or would be equal to some pz where p is prime number. I said ki a any ideal would be a principal ideal if and only if it is generated by a prime number. So it must be equal to some pz and if it is equal to pz then there is the, the, there is the property that 4 must divide this p and 6 should also divide this p. This is why this happens because if this is the case then 4z would be contained from here 4z should also contain into pz and 6z should also contain into pz and this would happen if 4 divides p and 6 divides p that is what is this what does that means if 4 also divides p 6 also divides p that means 4 divides p it is not that way 4 is a divisor of p hota hai yaan se 4z contain into the this 4 is Ulta kar diya na, humne. P should divide 4z. P is a divisor of 4 and P is a divisor of 6. That means P is a common divisor. Common divisor. 
4 4 and 6 and it should be maximum so p is nothing but gcd or greatest common divisor of 4 comma 6 and what is that that is 2 so the ideal that we considered equal to pz is turns out turns out to be 2z okay that is how you need to convert this into principal ideal next test the convergence of the series this is very simple question of real analysis there is always there are always questions from series sequence and series but this is a question of series and what happens sometimes questions may be difficult but this is not difficult it requires only application of what is this this is summation a n and hence a n is this one if this is a n then what we need to check is D. Lambert's ratio test. That is the test for convergence of series. Na? So what does D. Lambert's ratio se test says that you need to find out limit n approaches to infinity a n over a n plus 1. And if it is L, then the series would be convergent if L is greater than 1, then it is going to be convergent if L is equal to 1, not equal to, fairly less than latent then it is divergent and if L is equal to 1 then test fails and if test fails then we would apply next test and that is Rebe's test. Okay, let's do it. So, A n is this one and A n plus 1 is going to be a core add kar dijiye 1, 3, 5, 2n minus 1 and at the place of n put n plus 1 so it is going to be 2n plus 1 divided by 2 4 6 2n and 2n plus 2 ho jayega and you have extra 2n plus 1 so it is going to be 2n plus 3 and power would be 2n plus 3 where x is greater than 0 and when you will now we need to check limit n approaches to infinity a n over a n plus 1 right it is going to be cancel all the terms which are going to be cancelled and left write the remaining terms so remaining terms would be 2 n plus 2 over 2 n plus 3 and in the denominator we would be left with 2 n plus 1 and it's square because this is along with this and then power would be there 1 by x square and if you put limit n approaches to infinity here, how would you put? Take maximum and common from both the side. Here you would have 4, 2 into 2 that is 4, niche bhi 4 ho jayega. That would be 1 and it turns out to be 1 by x square. So the given series a n is convergent if 1 by x square is greater than 1 or you can say x square is less than 1 and is divergent if 1 by x square is less than 1 or you can say x square is greater than 1 because inequality would reverse if you are reversing the the fraction then inequality would re reverse but at x is equal to 1 test fails and if the test fails then what we will do we will go back to the sequence and then we will try to do something else. So, what we will do, I said, if the test, the Lambert's ratio test fails, then we will apply a Rebe's test. And in Rebe's test, what you need to do is, you need to check limit n approaches to infinity n into a n over a n plus 1 minus 1. So, this you need to check. So, 1 would be subtracted from the above terms and if it turns out to be L, then the similar conditions would be applied. So, let's try. Kya banta hai? Limit n approaches to infinity and you need to check n into a n over a n plus 1. a n over a n plus 1 is going to this one only. Yehi use kar lenge. So, this is 2 n plus 2, 2 n plus 3 divided by 2n plus 1 whole square and then you need to subtract 1 from this and 1 by x square at x square is equal to 1 we are checking this so this is going to be 1 by 1 only and we will check this to so limit n approaches to infinity 
and n here this is going to be 4 n square plus 4 n into 6 n that is 10 n plus 6 minus ye kitna hoga 4 n square minus 4 n minus 1 divided by square and hence it is 6 n plus 6 and outside you have limit n approaches to infinity that is 6 n square plus 6 n ho jayega because 1 n is outside and this is going to be 2 n plus 1 whole square and if I put limit n kaise put karenge take n maximum power of n common that is n square limit n approaches to infinity this is going to be 6 plus 6 by n and in the denominator you do have n square common 2 plus 1 by n whole square and n is equal to 0 would give you 6 by 2 that is 3 and this is greater than 1 so at x is equal to 1 or x square is equal to 1 this is convergent and hence convergent if x square is less than equal to 1 so this is the condition that you need to check okay let's let's move to next question next question says that state the sufficient condition for a function fz that is f of x plus eta y f of x plus eta y is equal to u x plus eta u x v plus eta v x v to be analytic in its domain and so that f of z is equal to log z is analytic in its domain and then find df y dz. How would you solve this question? See, they had given you a complex function which is divided into real part and imaginary part. u x y is real part and then v x y is said to be imaginary part of the analytic function. So, first you need to state sufficient condition for it state the sufficient condition so what it, what people usually do is they suppose that whenever we try to find out analytic function now most of the time we use is cr equations and people think that cr if the function is satisfying cr conditions or cr equations then it is going to be analytic no that is not the sufficient condition that is only necessary condition if cr conditions are not being satisfied by a function then we can say that function is not analytic but if a function is satisfying CR equations then it is not necessary that it is going to be analytic. So what extra condition we require for a function to be analytic is that it should satisfy CR equation that is the condition but along with that all the ux, uy, vx, vy should exist and should be continuous that is all the first order derivative of real and imaginary parts should exist as well as, as that should be continuous along with the satisfaction of CR equations. So that is the sufficient condition for fz to be analytic and after that they are saying find out log z f of log z. So we will try to find out f of z is equal to log z to show not find out. First we need to show that this is analytic after that we will what will we do? After that, we need to show that this is not to show. After that, we need to find out derivative of this function. Hai na? So, let's try to do it. Achha, yaha pe jo z hota hai, x plus eta y. What is that, that z in complex analysis? r into e raised to power eta theta that is jo bhi angle ka circle banega that is r into e raised to power eta theta is the real meaning of z here in let me write once kaha gaya bhai Give me a moment, please. Yes. So, log z. Here z is nothing but r into e raised to power iota theta. And what is r there? Then r here is that z is where say x plus iota y hota hai. So, r kya hota hai? x square plus y square. And jo theta hota hai that is tangent inverse 
y by x. Now write uh, all these values. So log z becomes log of r e raised to power iota theta. What does that mean? This would be log r plus log of e raised to power iota theta because log m n is m into n is equal to log m plus log of n. Anna? That is the property of log function and log log into algorithm are entry to each other so it would be iota theta and this is log r is x square plus y square Achha, wo under the root bhi hota hai, r square hota hai. so it would be under the root and can i write this one by two yes and this is iota th then theta tangent inverse y by x why we have converted this because they had said hence so that means you should first write that function into u x y Upper wala result use karna hai na? Okay. So by using the above result, you need to show this. And that is why we require the real part as well as imaginary part. And to find out these real and imaginary part, we have converted this function into this format. Now here, u is uxy. 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square. And then vxy is tangent inverse y by x. Now it is very easy to show. What you need to show is first ux, uy, u, you need to find out all those values. Find out ux, uy, u, vx, vy. We will not do this because these are first order derivative and I will assume that you know that much of basics of mathematics. Anna. These are very easy, you can find out. That is partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to x for u and v and for y as well, both. And then you need to prove that CR equations are satisfied. And what is the CR equation? That ux should be equal to vy and uy should be equal to minus of vx. Check these equations are satisfied or not. And after checking these equations, Check whether they are continuous or not. And if they are continuous, then we will say that this is the, the, the particular function that fz is equal to log z is analytic. Okay. And then what you need to do? Uske baad kuch nahi karna ho jayega ye analytic. And then you need to find out df by dz. So df by dz kya hoga? f is x plus eta y. So df by dz kya hoga? ux. Plus, yeah, to partial derivative with respect to v, le lo, or y, le lo, whatever you want to, and put these values. Okay. So, this is how you need to approach this question. Only thing you need to remember this, that whenever they say, hence show something, that means you have to use the result, whatever they have stated earlier. You cannot directly go and use it, solve it by using some other method. Wo nahi karna hai, otherwise, there would be deduction in marks then this is a question where a person requires this is a question of lpp na that is linear programming linear programming jo questions hota hai. first you need to formulate the linear programming problem here and then you will need to solve that so they are saying a person requires for 24 24 and 20 units of chemicals a, B, C respectively for his garden. Product P contains this, these units of chemicals A, B, C respectively per jar and product Q contains this, these units of chemicals A, B, C respectively per jar. If a, if a jar of P costs this much and jar of Q costs this much, then how many jars of each should be purchased in order to minimize the cost? That means you need to minimize the cost. What will I assume? See, they are saying a person requires itni units of chemicals. A unit itni to chahiye hi jada ho jayenge. That is the thing. Koi dikkat nahi hai. So A should be greater than equal to 24. B should be greater than equal to 24. And C should be greater than equal to 20. For his garden, product P contains this much. So let's assume product P contains e jo bhi product hoga usme x units maan ke chalenge ki isme x units hain aur y wale ko maan lenge ki product q ki we are getting y units so 
इफ वी आर गेटिंग यू पी और वाई यहां से लिख लो ए बी सी और देन पी वुड कंटेन टू यूनिट्स ऑफ ए टू यूनिट्स ऑफ ए इधर लिख लेते हैं ए बी सी बिकॉज वी हैव वी हैव इन इक्वालिटीज फॉर दिस तो ए में प्रोडक्ट पी वुड बी हेव क्यों वुड बी हेव वी विल अज्यूम दैट दिस इज एक्स यूनिट एंड दिस इज वाई यूनिट तो ए कंटेन्स प्रोडक्ट ए वेर इज पी पी कंटेन्स टू फोर एंड वन दिस इज टू एंड फोर एंड दिस इज वन देन प्रोडक्ट क्यू कंटेन्स टू वन एंड फाइव टू वन एंड फाइव दैट इज वाई यूनिट ऑफ केमिकल्स रिस्पेक्टिवली so from here what we get the product u a would be consisting of two units of p and two units of q that is 2x plus 2y should be greater than equal to 24 then you have 4x plus 1y that is y should be greater than equal to 24 and x plus 5y should be greater than equal to 20 these are the conditions and then they are saying you need to minimize the cost requirements how would so what is the formulation of function that you need to minimize say that z is of the function that you need to minimize so minimize z and z, this is the cost so cost for p they are saying cost is 30 so this is going to be 30x plus for q the cost is 50 this is 50y and we need to min minimize this subject to these conditions so lpp would be If we write in proper format, ये proper format में ही होगा उसको ऊपर लिख दो Can I cut this? Test का option नहीं दे दे Okay. We will write this here. Minimize. Z is equal to thirty x plus fifty y, and that is why this is the formulation of LPP. Or you can write this as one x one y is equal to twelve. Or to कुछ common नहीं आता ना x plus y is equal to twelve. ठीक है. Now you have three equation in two variables. So that is you can use directly graphical method. And for the graphical method, we need to draw all the lines. And I have drawn. So this would be your graph for this function. A. This is line x for x plus y is equal to the. This is twenty four. Okay. And this would be your region. यहाँ पे maximize कर minimize करना है. तो मिनिमम इफ दिस इज द एंटायर रीजन कोस्ट कितनी भी हो सकती है सो मिनिमम इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन दीज पॉइंट वी हैव ड्रॉन ऑल द थ्री लाइन्स एंड देन वी हैव कंसिडर फाइंड आउट द रीजन इन विच द फंक्शन इज कंसिस्टेंट एंड देन यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम कोस्ट सो वट वी नीड टू डू इज चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एट ए वट इज द फंक्शन मिनिमाइज जेड एंड जेड इज थर्टी एक्स प्लस फिफ्टी So check the value of z at a, z at b, and z at c, z at d. I I have written these points. So my minimum value would be at some of the point, and the cost should be equal to four hundred. That I have written on the last page. Now this is your task. You need to find out. I have formulated the problem. I have given you that this is how you need to draw the lines. How to draw it? जो भी लाइन है एक बार एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो पुट कर दो बिकॉज दीज आर लीनियर लाइंस ना दो पॉइंट मिल गए तो भी लीनियर लाइंस कैन बी ड्रॉन हमें कर्व थोड़ी ड्रा करनी है दीज आर लाइंस ओनली तो फाइंड आउट इट्स इंटरसेक्शन विद एक्स एक्सिस एज वेल एज वाई एक्सिस दो पॉइंट हो गए ज्वाइन दीज पॉइंट एंड यू विल बी एंडिंग अप विद दिस लाइन वट यू रिक्वायर एंड आफ्टर दैट फाइंड आउट देर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट वो कैसे करेंगे एक्स और वाई के लिए सोल्व कर लो कोई भी दो लाइन विच आर इंटरसेक्टिंग ओके आफ्टर दैट दिस इज दैट वॉज कंपल्सरी क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स सेक्शनल क्वेश्चन
so this is first question it says that prove that a non commutative group of order 2p where p is odd prime number must have a subgroup of order p kya matlab hua non commutative means it is not commutative the elements x if you we consider x and y are two elements then xy is equal to not equal to yx for all xy hai na ek do ke liye ho jata hai that is alag baat hai kyunki x ko jab bhi identity le loge identity sabke sath commute karta hai na but for arbitrary x and y they are non commutative and we need to prove that it must have a subgroup of order p again we will apply the lagrange's theorem of groups what does that says they are saying prove that a non commutative group let g be a group let g be a non commutative of order 2p that is order of g is equal to 2p where p is odd prime number must have a subgroup of order p and let let h be a subgroup of g then by lagrange's theorem We, हमें दिखाना है कि ये होगा ही होगा इफ यू अज्यूम दैट दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल तो वो क्यों कैसे होगा लेट एच बी ए ग्रुप ऑफ जी लेट मी सी इट वॉन्स कम में कैसे काम चला देंगे ठीक है H is any subgroup then Lagrange's theorem says that by Lagrange's theorem theorem on groups पीछे भी यूज किया था we use this in first question only that order of H would divide order of G and if it would do, divide order of G and order of G is equal to 2p then order of h head choices kya kya ho sakti hai it may be 1 it may be 2p not 2p directly it may be p 1 2 or p and then 2p then we will show that the the only choice with h is ki yahan pe hona hi hona hoga so we have to show that there is guarantee or there is the necessity that one of the order of the one of the group would be of order p how would you show that we will use lagrange's theorem definitely but when we once we will use to show that if we, there is one result if you have any number that divides that is if you any number with any any element of the order something say that if you have an element of order p or say l h whatever it is then there is guarantee of existence of a group which is generated by that element and has order equal to the order of the elements that let me write ki kya bol rahi hu main if any group has an element of order p then there always exist always exist a subgroup of order t p generated by that element So this is also one of the result, and now we we know that order of H can be one, two, p, two p, and we need to show that there would be a group whose order is p. 
so it would be enough if we are able to show that there is one of the element whose order is p theek hai how would you show we will assume that since let x belongs to g and if x belongs to g then order of x may be order of element also divides the order of the group then it order of x may be 1 2 or p or 2p first we will assume that either its order is 1 or p 2 or 2p but it is not equal to p so if all since x is order of g is equal to 2p and 2 is odd prime number that means there are more than 2 is p is odd prime number that means at least p is 3 and then minimum order of g is 6 so we have at least 6 elements hai na but order of 1 if x is order of x is equal to 1 then it is identity only सिर्फ आइडेंटिटी का ऑर्डर वन होता है उसको छोड़ के किसी एलिमेंट का ऑर्डर वन नहीं होता तो दैट मीन्स रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स एटलीस्ट देर आर सिक्स एलिमेंट्स रिमेनिंग फाइव एलिमेंट्स हैज ऑर्डर ग्रेटर देन फाइव वन दैट मीन्स दिस इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर ऑल सो एन अदर थिंग इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स कैन बी इफ ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू पी एंड इफ ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू पी दैट मीन्स एन एलिमेंट ऑफ द ग्रुप हैज ऑर्डर टू पी and whenever you have an element in the group which whose order is equal to order of the group then group becomes cyclic this implies g is a cyclic group but a cyclic group is always commutative commutative that means g is commutative what we are doing we are ignoring or we are eliminating all the possibilities ki inke element honge ya nahi honge so g turning out to be commutative but in the starting only they said that g is non commutative commutative so this cannot be possible then this was case 1 was identity wala this is case 2 then case 3 says that ye alag se result hai case 3 there may be kya ho sakta hai कि ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू फॉर ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू जी एक्सेप्ट आइडेंटिटी तो वो तो वन होना ही है एक्सेप्ट आइडेंटिटी दैट इज ई इफ ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स ऑल द एलिमेंट इज इक्वल टू टू लेट देन देर देर आर अदर एलिमेंट्स ना लेट्स एज्यूम एक्स इन टू वाई आर टू एलिमेंट दैट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू टू and since g is group so there would be xy as well closure property exist and order of xy would also be t2 that means sabke element ka order 2 liya hai na to xy ka order bhi 2 hona chahiye that means x into y square is equal to identity that is the meaning of order na and this implies x into y and x into y is equal to identity if this is the thing then what we can do Mult pre multiply by x inverse so this is going to be x inverse se pre multiply karoge to yahan pe sirf y xy bachega and there we would have x inverse and what is x inverse see x square is equal to 2 na x square is equal to identity that means x is equal to x inverse and x inverse would be x that is y xy is equal to x again multiply by y inverse and you will get xy is equal to y inverse x but order of y is 2 that means y y square is equal to identity from here and that was from here y square is equal to identity that means y is equal to y inverse and this would be replaced here and this happens for all xy belonging to g but what is this xy is equal to yx for all the elements and if this is the case that means g is again commutative because x into y is equal to y x is the property of commutativity and that is not possible so sare elements ka order na to 2 ho sakta hai na 1 ho sakta hai aur na 2p order ka koi element ho sakta hai that is only choice we are left with ki wahan pe at least there would be one element whose order is p and if you found any element of order p then there is existence of a subgroup of order p and that is the thing that we needed to prove that it must have a subgroup of order okay next 
using method of languages multiply find the minimum and maximum distance of the point this is languages multiplier method for finding out minima and maxima na what will we do we will construct pehle to wahi dekh lete kisko nikalna hai to f x y z f we can define as see what is this maxima and minima we need to do for distance function and what is the distance function from this point p 2 6 3 that is x minus 6 square x minus 2 square plus y minus 6 square plus z minus p square and this can be used said as d square bol do bhai because distance hota hai under the root aur hame under root nahi chahiye if a function under root function is under the root if a function is maximum or minimum then its, its square is also going to be maximum and, and minimum so kyun under root leke rakhna hai wo hum nahi karenge theek hai say this is f then they had given a constant function that is phi so that is x square plus y square plus z square minus 4 then what we do in lagrange's multiplier method we will construct a function gx that is fx plus lambda x lambda of phi x and then we what we used to do is find out partial derivative of g with respect to x put equal to 0 then put y is equal to 0 and d of z is equal to 0 ye sab karna hai aur ye karne ke baad what you will you get is let me write directly because this is very basic you can do calculations you you can do calculations i i'll assume na yes you people can do i have that much of confidence in you so this is going to be let me write directly f of x is equal to 0 this would give you x plus x into 1 plus lambda is equal to 2 then y into 1 plus lambda into 6 and z into 1 plus lambda is equal to 3 and from here we get x in the form of lambda that is 1 plus lambda y is equal to 6 over 1 plus lambda and then again z is equal to 3 over 1 plus lambda i have solved this question these questions these are not very difficult and then you need to find out put these values x y z into the given condition this one so that what we can do we can find out lambda and after putting these value for x y z into this you will get values of lambda and these would be let me write lambda would be two values would be there 5 by 2 or minus 9 by 2 and corresponding to these values once you will get maximum value and another time you will get minimum value so maximum value would be minimum value or minimum distance is going to be 5 maximum distance is going to be 9 okay yahan se mil jayenge na in points pe wo 5 by 2 ye lambda is equal to 5 by 2 and 9 by 2 ye lambda nikalne ke baad what will you do you find out x y z so once the point would be x y z kya hoga 4 7 4 by 7 12 by 7 and these are plus minus because plus minus hai and this would be plus minus 6 by 7 so put these values the put प्लस पुट करोगे यू विल गेट मिनिमम वैल्यूज एंड जब माइनस पुट करोगे यू विल गेट मैक्सिमम वैल्यूज अरे भाई बीच में माइनस साइन है ना तो प्लस वाला कम होके कम बना देगा माइनस वाला ऐड होके ज्यादा बना देगा एंड दीज आर दैल्यूज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज इवेल्युएट दिस यूजिंग कंटूर इंटीग्रेशन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड मच प्रोडिक्टेड क्वेश्चन क्योंकि जब भी कॉम्प्लेक्स के क्वेश्चन आता है वन इज वन क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम कंटूर इंटीग्रेशन अदर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम एनी दिस एनालिटिकल फंक्शन एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी फ्रॉम सिंगुलरिटीज उससे ज्यादा टॉपिक ही नहीं है ना कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस में वी हैव थ्री टू फोर टॉपिक्स ओनली तो वही आएंगे जब चार पांच क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं तो क्या करेंगे बेचारे वी दे कैन नॉट इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग एल्स ना सो दैट इज वाई यू नीड टू सोल्व एंड दिस वॉज वेरी वी हैव फोर टाइप ऑफ कंटूर इंटीग्रेशन एक में डायरेक्ट फंक्शन होते हैं एक्स वाई के अदर टाइम देर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ कोस थीटा साइन थीटा देन दे हैव रेशनल फंक्शन काइंड ऑफ थिंग अलोंग विद साइन थीटा कोस थीटा एंड देन दे हैव मिसलिनियस टाइम है ना बट दिस इज वेरी इजियर वन यहाँ पे सीधा साइन थीटा कोस थीटा है बट वी डू हेयर 
वी विल कंटी कं वी वर विल कं क्या करेंगे इसको we will change this into in some other thing that is into function of z and how would you change that so we know what is cos theta or e raised to power iota theta hi bata bata do e raised to power iota iota theta is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta hota hai na and from here e raised to power minus iota theta de morgan's law kya kehta hai it would be cos theta minus iota sin theta so if once if i add both of them you will get cos theta is equal to e raised to power iota theta plus e raised to power minus iota theta by 2 and if you subtract then we will get sin theta is equal to e raised to power iota theta minus e raised to power minus iota theta by 2 iota and we will use these values kaise use karenge so cos 2 theta is going to be real part of with the real part hoga na this i integral can be written as integral 0 to 2 pi real part of real part of what e raised to power iota 2 theta niche bhi real part hi hai to isi wajah se we can write dono jagah alag hote to nahi likh pate na t theta upar wala angle 2 theta hai niche wala theta hai that is why we have written aur niche to nahi likh sakte bhai tum directly 4 into e cos theta hi likho we will use the values here तो ये क्या होगा देन ई रेज टू पावर आईटा थीटा इज नथिंग बट जेड ना दैट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू जेड और ये इसको इफ वी पुट जेड ई रेज टू पावर आईटा थीटा तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रियल पार्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रल जीरो टू टू पाई ऊपर वी गेट जेड स्क्वायर नीचे क्या होगा फाइव प्लस फोर एंड देन ई रेज टू पावर आईटा थीटा इज जेड देन कोस थीटा इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू जेड प्लस वन बाई जेड and inside you do have dz d theta is equal to dz upon iota z bhi ho jayega kya hmm iota z to aayega na theek so this is real part of or if you will take niche se z common this is going to be 0 to 2 pi or 2 pi would change z mein change kar diya so z we have converted e raised to power iota theta ko we have taken z Usually क्या होता है जेड इज इक्वल टू आर ई रेज टू पावर आईटा थीटा बट हेयर वी हैव टेकन आर इज इक्वल टू वन तो मोड ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू टू द एरिया वुड बी ऑफ यूनिट सर्कल जेड इज मोड ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज दिस बिकम मोड ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वन ना एंड इट वुड चेंज इन टू जेड स्क्वायर ओवर दिस वुड बी टू फाइव जेड प्लस जेड स्क्वायर यहाँ कर देंगे जेड स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव जेड प्लस वन बचेगा क्या पर अंदर टू है तो प्लस टू एंड दिस जेड वुड कैंसिल दिस एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी जेड बाय वन बाय आयोटा कर दो ओके नाउ यू नीड टू सोल्व दिस एंड हाउ वुड यू सोल्व दिस बाय यूजिंग द सिंगुलरिटीज या रेजिडियो थोरम यू कैन से फॉर दैट मैटर तो रेजिडियो थोरम से भी इसको हम यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर रेजिडियो थोरम वट विल वी डू वी विल पुट द डिनोमिनेटर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी विल गेट फाइव 2z square plus 5z plus 2 is equal to zero. That is why यहाँ से z की values क्या आएंगी? 2z square था भाई उसी दर z नहीं था. So it becomes 2z square plus 4z plus z plus 2. This is equal to zero and hence 2z common आने पर z plus 2 plus 1 into z plus 2 equal to zero and then z is equal to minus 1 by 2 and z is equal to minus 2. Are the poles these are the poles but see we have the region mode of z is equal to 1 so only pole inside our function is our circle is this z is equal to minus 1 by 2 and this is not qualifying it so our integral would be equal to i if i say this is i equal to i is going to be real part lena hai but uske jo residue theorem kya kehti hai it is going to be 2 pi iota and residue at the poles that is z is equal to minus 1 by 2 and how would you calculate residue at z is equal to 1 by 2 so apply the formula z is equal to minus 1 by 2 it is going to be limit z approaches to minus 1 by 2 this would be z plus 1 into f of z jo f z banta hai isko remove kar liye ba and this this residue would be 1 upon 
ट्वेल्व आए ट्वेल्व आइटा वुड बी देर पांच दो ने दस माइनस चार छ और चार दो कट गया छ यस इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन बाय आयोटा इन टू ट्वेल्व एंड पुट दीज वैल्यूज देन योर सोल्यूशन वुड बी इफ यू पुट दिस टू पाई आयोटा इन टू हेयर दैट इज टू पाई आयोटा ओवर वन बाय आयोटा ट्वेल्व इट वुड बी पाई बाय सिक्स एंड दैट इज द आंसर ओके दैट वॉज इट आफ्टर दैट वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन Prove that x square plus one is irreducible polynomial in z cube three. Further show that the quotient ring z cube x by x square plus one is a field of nine elements. How would you prove that? If you need to prove that something is irreducible, that means irreducible polynomial. You need to show that this polynomial does not have roots in the the given field. And what is the given field? They had given z cube three. If this is the field, then how how does its element look like? पहले z three ही बता दीजिए. Z three is what? Z three contains all those x or all those a for which a is congruent to b mod m mod k. है ना? So this is residue class three. ये this field is residue class three. Whenever you divide any element by three, then residues will be written in this field. And residue, if you divide any element by three, then what can be as residues? Residue is nothing but the remainder of left after dividing something. So residue here would be either it can become it come three can completely divide divide a number, then residue would be zero, and then there can be remainder as one, two, but three cannot be remainder. Na, just say three hoga. So that would be converted into zero. So this is the field, and then you need to prove that the this polynomial is irreducible. Let f x is equal to x square plus one. If this is irreducible in this field, then these elements should not satisfy this polynomial. अगर इनमें से कोई एलिमेंट रूट बन जाता है, that means the this polynomial is reducible और नहीं बनता है, तो we will say that this is irreducible. So let's check f zero. F one and F two. So what is F zero? That is one. That is not equal to zero. If we put F equal to x is equal to one, then that is going to be two. And if you put two, then it is going to be five. For five can be written as after dividing three, it would be two. So this is again not zero. And if five is not element of Z three, you have to convert this into residue class, na? Okay. <laughs> so that is the thing. This implies F x is irreducible over z3 and and if it is irreducible then we have some of the result you need to prove that this is a field so if you have any irreducible polynomial then we know any commutative ring with unity in z3 there is unity na so any commutative ring or z3 a commutative we have if fx is irreducible there is the result let's write it if fx is irreducible polynomial in a commutative ring with commutative ring with unity unity then the ideal generated by this unity is maximal ideal generated by this irreducible animal and not animal polynomial is maximal and the second result says that this is first result and second result says that if you have a maximal ideal over a commutative ring with unity then z then the ring or the maximal ideal r fx is a field 
so we know that 3x is a ring i had said that this is a ring and this ring contains this is commutative because zero want to uh, commutate with each other along with this it has unity one is the unity element of this ring so it would classify then this polynomial this polynomial generated by fx is going to be maximal and as soon as this is maximal then we will say that 3x would be over fx is a field and if it is if it is a field then any element of this field is of the type is type ka hoga are kis type ke hote hain fx kya tha apna jo bhi tha likh lo x square plus 1 तो एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस वुड बी यहां से पोलिनोमियल आएंगे एंड देन ए प्लस बी एक्स प्लस राइट दिस वन एक्स स्क्र प्लस वन वाई आई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज एनी थिंग दिस पोलिनोमियल जनरेटेड बाय दिस वुड कंटेन ऑल द पोलिनोमियल ऑफ पावर ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू जो टू से ज्यादा के जितने भी कॉफिशेंट्स या टर्म्स आएंगे दैट वुड बी कंज्यूम्ड बाय दिस पोलिनोमियल और पोलिनोमियल जनरेटेड बाई एक्स स्क्र प्लस वन we are left with only constant term and a term of degree 1 so a and b are the 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 variables that we need to determine and how many values that these variables can take yahan se a aur b kahan se aate hain where a comma b belongs to z3 so if they belongs to z3 and in z3 we have three elements that means a has three choices and then b has also three choices that is either it can be 0 1 or 2 similarly b can be 0 1 or 2 so every time you have three choices the number of elements in this field number of elements can be 3 into 3 that is 9 and that is the thing that we needed to prove is it okay theek hai na Let's move to the next question. Prove that this is harmonic. Harmonic. दिखाने के लिए what you need to do is del square u is equal to zero. And what is del square? That is cos square u by cos x square plus cos square u by cos y square. And this should be equal to zero. मैं नहीं दिखाऊंगी because this is very basic. You so you can find out the values of cos u by u x. पहले फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव निकालिए फिर सेकंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव निकालिए दोनों का और उसमें पुट कर दो यू विल गेट दिस एंड दिस इफ दिस इज सेटिस्फाइड देन दिस इंप्लाइज यू इज हार्मोनिक एंड इफ इट इज हार्मोनिक एनी फंक्शन इज हार्मोनिक देन यू मस्ट हैव ए हार्मोनिक कंजुगेट एट v such that there exist a function fz is equal to u plus iota v where fz is analytic so iska matlab kya hua jaise u mila you need to find out v that is imaginary part and then u plus iota v is going to be analytic एक इमेज यू रियल पार्ट दे रखा है इमेज निकालना है क्या करते हैं मिलने थॉमसन मिलने थॉमसन मेथड लगाते हैं एंड लेट्स सी ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज आई हैव रिटर्न सो दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट मिलने थॉमसन मेथड इट सेज दैट एफ दस इज इक्वल टू कल साई बाई कल एक्स जेड एक्स माइनस आईटा कल साई बाई कल वाई जेड जीरो इज यहाँ पे ये सब पुट कर लो वट इज कल साई बाई कल एक्स साई यू को बोल दिया ना इन्होंने एफ जेड इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस आईटा वी एफ डेस जेड यहां से आ जाएगा कल यू बाई कर लेक्स कर लो दिस इज नोट ने रियल पार्ट को बोल दिया इन्होंने यू हैव यू देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट कर यू बाई कर लेक्स कल यू बाई कर लो आई पुट दो वैल्यूज हेयर एंड देन फाइंड आउट एफ जेड एफ जेड वुड बी लेट मी राइट क्या बनते हैं ये एफ डेस जेड वुड बी रेज टू पावर जेड इन टू जेड प्लस वन वुड बी देर माइनस आयोटा और ये जीरो हो जाएगा तो यू आर गेटिंग ई रेज टू पावर जेड इन टू जेड प्लस वन एंड हैंड टू फाइंड आउट एफ डेस्ट जेड तो इंटीग्रेशन करेंगे 
एफ जेड इज गोइंग टू बी इंटीग्रेशन करने के बाद इट वुड बी जेड इन टू ई रेज टू पावर जेड और उसको x प्लस आइटा वाई में लिखना चाहते हो तो यू कैन राइट बिकॉज वी नीड यू एंड वी ना तो उसको कन्वर्ट कर दो जेड इज वट x प्लस आयोटा वाई एंड ई रेज टू पावर x प्लस आयोटा वाई एंड देन यू कैन डू टेम डिफरेंटली उसके बाद क्या करोगे कन्वर्ट ही करना है तो ये ई रेज टू पावर x इंटू ई रेज टू पावर आयोटा वाई कर लेंगे तो ई रेज टू पावर x को बाहर करो x plus iota y because we need to separate real and imaginary part na it would be e raised to power iota y and we need no e raised to power iota theta is cos theta plus iota sin theta so this is cos y plus iota sin y and multiply both of them so this is going to be e raised to power x here or in real part would be provided by x cos y plus yahan se aayega that is minus y sin y and then imaginary part would be provided by x ka ek bar iske sath iota times x sin y then y along with this plus y cos y okay and this is real part they has provided this this along with e raised to power x alag alag hi likh dete hain is imaginary part and along with this imaginary part we had found out that this is harmonic conjugate and analytic function would be z e raised to e z plus constant of integration next solve the following linear programming problem by big m method big m method se kya karte they had given us ek pen le lenge i have already solved this because this would have taken lot of time of us so to save that time i have solved this and i will explain kya karna hota hai in big m method what you need to mean you need to they said ki minimize z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 subject to these condition <laughs> so here is greater than inequality so we need need lack variable lack hi hota hai kya plus sath mein additional variable we require hai na aur arbitrary kya bolte hain usko artificial variable not uh, slack variable so we need to subtract s1 from here and we need to add one our artificial variable, variable say a1 yahan se kya karenge s2 subtract karenge and then we will add artificial variable and if you have inequality less than to hum add karenge s3 and we don't require any artificial variable then yahan par kya karenge 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 and then we will add them m a1 that is big that is why big m with this m is very large number and this is a m a2 then we will this is how you need to convert this into standard format for big m method hai na and after that we will form we will try iterations or iterations kya hogi you need to form this table that is cj on so side cj me you have the coefficients of the function to which you need to min minimize so sare constants likh liye then this is content table for basic variables or coefficients of basic variable these are basic variables first time you have to ba take basic variable this would be s3 <coughs> basic variables from a one basic variable from each of the equation inequality conditions ko equality mein badla tha har jagah se ek lena hai so as long as you have artificial variable they, that are going to be your basic vari variables and if artificial variable is not there then you have to take slack variables so ye sare ikatthi wahan humne kiye first equation se artificial variable a1 second se a2 third se s3 <coughs> and then coefficients respect to to them are m m 0 and then write all the coefficient x1 x2 x3 after that you need to find out zj what is zj xi into basic variable xi into coefficient of basic variable so yahan se 1m plus 1m that is this is summation xi tbi multiplication of this with this plus addition of multiplication of this with this so it is going to be m m 2m ho gaya this is m plus 2m that is 3m and then this is how you need to write this table okay after that we required zj minus cj that is isme se wo wala subtract karenge 
and these are the coefficients and <coughs> the optimality would be achieved if all the coefficients here are turn out to be negative but we are seeing that they are not turning out to be negative because this is positive number this is positive number so what will we do we will enter a variable which has maximum value so maximum here is 3m minus 3 because m is very large number and any multiple which has coefficient higher with m would give you maximum number hai na? so this is maximum and you need to enter this ye enter karoge, then what you need to this is your pivot column after writing finding out this entering variable find out this pivot column this is pivot column <coughs> and by taking this pivot column you have to divide solution column solution may divide first with by first one that is 9 by 1 would be 9 after that you div should divide 15 by 2 that is going to be 7.5 and then 9 by if you have here either negative entry or 0 then we don't need to divide, divide this and we will leave this empty then the maximum the exit, exiting variable would be minimum positive variable okay so what is minimum positive variable that is 7.5 and hence a2 would leave x2 would exit in enter this is x2 and next iteration would be formed make this column as 1 and as soon as you will make this column as not 1 0 so 0 banaoge this is going to be your iteration or yase ye aega is this time your a1 would exit or kuch enter karega third iteration likna or fourth iteration bhai after that your your all the zj minus cj would be positive not positive negative or either negative or zero or jaise hi wo negative or zero aayenge then you will would have achieved to the optimal solution and that optimal solution turn out to be x1 is equal to 3 x2 is equal to solution 6 and then solution that minimum of z is going to be 24 okay Tick. next classify the single singular point z is equal to 0 next is this question we need to this is complex variable question na? complex analysis ka related to singularities you need to classify the point z is equal to 0 of the function fz and obtain the principal part of its Lorentz series expansion pehle hum Lorentz series expansion nikal le aur wahi se principal part bhi bata denge equality bhi bata denge aur kuch jyada nahi karna padega kaise nikaloge directly expand this <coughs> expansion se pata chal jata hai na so how would you expand this fz is equal to e raised to power z over z minus sin z so you can write e z over take this z outside and it is going to be 1 minus sin z by z it can be possible then you can write this as e raised to power z 1 by z here and this is 1 minus sin z inverse. Ye banega kya? Or wo karne se pehle isko nahi karte expand because z common nahi lena padega. Let's do one more thing. Z, write the expansion of sin z. That is what? Sin x. Expansion of sin x. <coughs> z se yaad nahi aata. X se to aai jayega. X minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x 5 by 5 factorial minus x7 by 7 factorial and so on okay let's write this this is going to be z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z5 by 5 factorial and so on this is let's say z cancel ho jayega terms would change fine so this is e z over niche kya banta hai z cube by 3 factorial plus minus z5 by 5 factorial and then you have plus z7 by 7 factorial and so on and now take z cube by 3 factorial common so we are left with 3 factorial upar chala jayega niche hoga z cube and then you have e z over niche banta hai 1 minus 3 factorial by 5 factorial into z 3 i have taken common it is going to be z square plus 3 factorial by 7 factorial and hence it is z 4 4 bachega kya? 4 or 3 and this way then we will 
right expansion of both e x and what is the if expansion of e raised to power x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and so on so let's write these expansions this is going to be 3 factorial by z q and expansion of e raised to power z is 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial 3 factorial and so on and then write this term on the upper side we will get 1 minus 3 factorial by 5 factorial can i write this this way minus 1 common leno z square let's say under kya hoga 3 factorial by 7 factorial z4 and then so on for ye kya hai minus then we will again use expansion you should have very strong in expansion na only then you can do this so this is going to be 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial and so on here you would get 1 plus 3 factorial by z square 3 factorial by 5 factorial into z square plus 3 factorial by 7 factorial into z4 and so on second term kya aegi iska square hoga or usme there would be power of z4 so hame z4 tak to chahiye na z4 tak nahi chahiye z3 tak hi chahiye par ek z4 ka likh lete hain that is going to be 3 factorial by 5 factorial its square into z4 and so on so we are going to get 3 by z cube into if we multiply 1 wala 1 aayega then coefficient of z would be provided by 1 1 plus z ka coefficient sirf ek hi jagah se aata hai z ko sirf yahan se multiply karo plus z square coefficient of z square once i multiply this by this or z square yahan se aur kahin se nahi aata na so 1 by 2 factorial plus 3 factorial by 5 factorial into z square then coefficient of z cubes are provided by ek to yahi ho gaya seedha 1 ke sath multiply karoge 1 by 3 factorial then z square ko karte ho idhar z se so that is going to be 3 factorial by 5 factorial into z to be bachta i think aur kahin se z cube to nahi aata no after that coefficient of z4 so z4 ka coefficient kahan se aata hai ek bar to idhar se aayega ki you multiply this by this so then that is 3 factorial over 2 factorial into 5 factorial plus iska z idhar nahi hai to nahi aayega 4 ka wahan se bhi aayega that is 3 by 7 factorial aur ek humne yahan se kiya tha 3 factorial by 5 factorial actually we don't require this into z4 and so on so this is going to be thing now from here if i multiply this z cube inside we will get 1 by z cube plus 1 by z square plus this is z square na so this is 1 by 2 factorial plus 3 factorial by 5 factorial into 1 by z and then you have this constant term into 1 and so on aage jo bhi aayega that are terms containing higher power of z upar z aa jayega kyunki z4 z6 wo aane lag gaye theek hai then you need to find out thus classify the singular point at z is equal to 0 so the maximum value at which maximum power of z raised to power m which makes this finite is going to be your pole of order that order so maximum kitna hoga if you multiply this by z is equal to 3 z raised to power 3 and then you will take limit z approaches to 0 then it is going to be finite value because then ye bhi finite ban jayegi ye bhi finite ban jayegi ye bhi ban jayegi aur other tarika is ki yahan pe maximum power jo 1 by z ki hogi at equal to 0 that is going to be your pole of that order and hence at z is equal to 0 you have a pole of order 3 at z is equal to 3 z is equal to 0 pole of order 3 and then you need to find out obtain the principal of part of Lorentz series that is 1 by z wala so this is the principal part of Lorentz series and that is why along with along with the expansion you have find out all the things
तो प्रिंसिपल पार्ट बिकम्स दिस जितना है वो देख लेना सिक्स बाई जेड स्क्वायर ठीक है और ये सब बचेगा थर्टी थ्री बाई टेन जेड हाँ बना लो भाई जो भी बनेगा तो दैट वॉज इट आफ्टर दैट ए डिपार्टमेंट नीड्स फाइव सब ऑर्डिनेट एंड फाइव जॉब्स टू बी परफॉर्म द टाइम अलोकेट दिस इज वट अलोकेशन वो ना अलोटमेंट प्रॉब्लम अलोकेशन वाली तो मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम क्या क्या कैसे निकालेंगे इसका रो रिडक्शन कॉलम रिडक्शन करके दो फेजेस में निकलता है फर्स्ट इज रिडक्शन मेथड दैट इज रो रिडक्शन करना है कॉलम रिडक्शन करना है और उसके बाद ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वाला प्रोसेस लगाना है तो रो रिडक्शन करते टाइम व्हाट विल वी डू लेट मी राइट ऑन दिस ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज एज इट इज तो यहाँ लिख लेते हैं आगे नहीं लिखते रिपीट करना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो रो एट द टाइम ऑफ रो रिडक्शन रिड्यूस द मिनिमम एंट्री ऑफ रो तो यू विल एंड अप वाई रिड्यूसिंग फोर फ्रॉम हेयर इट इज जीरो फाइव जीरो एट एंड दिस इज जीरो चार यहाँ पे पांच है मिनिमम तो दिस इज टेन सिक्स फाइव इज मिनिमम सो दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फिफ्टीन जीरो एंड दिस इज थ्री After that seven is minimum, so this is ten, zero, eight, सात और पांच बारे, वो यार, and this is nine is minimum, so zero, twelve, नहीं twelve, four लिखा है, वही लिखा है, two, zero, and if I subtract nine, this is going to be five, and six subtract करोगे zero, five, six, three, eight, okay? And after that you need to reduce this by column wise. That is, you need to minimize. You need to subtract minimum values of from each column. Or वो कितनी है zero 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 बनती है तो there is no minimum value 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 except this ना. After that what we need to do is we need to <coughs> find out ये वाला पेन लेंगे कि we will scan the rows and we will highlight. we will mark the zero which is single zero in the particular row and then we will cross all other zeros so yahan pe are you finding any single zero no but this zero is single hai na and what we will do next then we will scan this column and we will cross all the zeros then we will scan this this is zero par isme aur koi nahi hai then this is the first and yahan pe isme aur zeros hai this one and we have we, uh, up now we need to do do same scanning along the column so isme koi zero nahi hai yahan bhi nahi hai this is the first zero in this column and then we will cross all the zeros of this row so we have four allotment but we require five allotment should be equal to the table jitni cheezon ki allotment ki zarurat hai so we require five what will we do next time so after that the step is optimization in optimization what will you do find out the minimum value minimum minimum non crossed entry non crossed entry and that is two so what you need to do ki you have drawn this line now wo lines kahan gayi humne line to draw ki nahi thi yeah lines cross karne thi फर्स्ट याद है कुछ क्या किया था दिस वाज़ द फर्स्ट रो एंड देन यू नीड टू कैंसिल दिस कॉलम यस आफ्टर दैट वी स्कैन दिस रो और ये आ गया था अपना रो स्कैन की थी कॉलम वुड बी क्रॉस्ड हां आफ्टर दैट वी ये हो गया था स्कैन दिस वन और हां ये आ गया था एंड इस रो को स्कैन करने के बाद दिस कॉलम वाज क्रॉस्ड है ना एंड देन वी स्कॉन स्कैन दिस कॉलम एंड दिस रो शुड बी क्रॉस्ड so after finding out minimum entry what you need to do is subtract minimum entry that is 2 from non non crossed entries crossed entries and at crossed entries corner corner crossed entries entries Add this minimum value. Add two. So what we need to do is, बाकी जो non-crossed है वहाँ से two subtract कर दो और सिर्फ corner crossed है 
वहां पे टू ऐड कर देना है बाकी जो एंट्रीज है लीव देम एज इट इज सो लेट्स डू दैट एंड इट स्टैंड आउट टू बी फर्स्ट इज कॉर्नर क्रोस वी नीड टू एड टू फाइव इज कॉर्नर क्रोस सो इट इज सेवन दिस इज नॉट कॉर्नर क्रोस सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो एट इज कॉर्नर क्रोस दिस इज टू एंड द लास्ट वन इज नॉन कॉर्नर देन ये इनमें से कोई भी कॉर्नर नहीं है राइट देम एज इट इज टेन टेन जीरो जीरो सेकेंड रो एज इट इज सिक्स जीरो फोर फाइव है ना एंड देन वी हैव दीज आर नॉन क्रॉस एंट्रीज सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टीन सिक्स वन एंड सिक्स में से दो गए फोर अच्छा वन कैसे हो गया जीरो होगा ना जीरो एंड देन दिस Row should be written as it is because this is crossed but not on corner. Zero, three, and then you need to subtract two from each entry. That is going to be one, nine, three, and then six. Acha. Then we again need to do row scanning and column scan. ये वाला पेन ले लेते हैं. Row scanning, column scanning. फिर से वही single row देखें, single zero देखें in any row, and then we will cross that column. then <coughs> single zero is this in this row and we will cross this column then we will see single zero this is the single zero and we will cross this column then we will scan columns remaining columns so this is not single but this is single and then we will cross this column and this is again single one and hence the allocation here is 5 wo 5 hai to yahi allocation chahiye tha so allocated values are a ko allocate kaun sa hua hai this is a This is B, C, D, and E. So to A we have allocated fifth cell, that is fifth, five, and this value of this is six from here, the starting one. Then B is been allocated third position, and this three is seven. Then C is allocated fourth one, and then fourth one is eleven. ये है ना fourth C का. And then D is been allocated. Second one, and this second is five, and after that E is allocated. क्या बच गया वही first one. This is first, and this is four. So total minimum thing that we required is छः और सात तेरह, तेरह और ग्यारह, twenty four, twenty four and five is. 29 and 4 that is 33 33 is the solution then they are saying also obtain the total minimum time to perform all the jobs if the subordinate 4 cannot be assigned job c they are saying ki aisa kuch karo subordinate 4 cannot be assigned the job c so what will we do we will give this a very large number say 1000 replace 11 by 1000 and then perform the same function and after that find out the allocation what are the allocations next question find the surface passing through the two lines z is equal to x is equal to 0 and z is equal to then satisfying the partial differential equation this is the partial differential equation first we need to find out, out its solution and then we need to find out the surface satisfying this condition solution kaise nikalte hain replace curl by curl z is equal to, curl x is equal to d And curl by curl y is equal to d dash. And if you have d plus m d dash h or say, yeah, yeah, d plus m d dash as root, then solution is y plus m x. होता है ना? ठीक. We will write that solution. So this becomes d square minus four d d dash plus four d dash square is equal to zero. And he, hence this is d Minus two d dash its square is equal to zero. So you are getting m is equal to two. So solution would be complementary factor would be c one, not c one. Here we have partial derivative, so constant would be arbitrary function, not arbitrary real value. So it would would be five one y plus m x, that is two x plus x time pi two because roots are repetitive. Pi plus 2x. Okay, and then you need to set, find a surface which satisfies these condition. Let's see the next page. So that ये हमारे solution आ गए 5 1 y plus 2x x into 5 2 y plus 2x. 
and then the conditions are given x is equal to g x is equal to z is equal to 0 and x is equal to y and that is z is equal to 1 put these values in this and these conditions and we will get phi 1 is equal to 0 and phi 2 is equal to 1 by x put these values or solution apna mil jayega okay z kya ban jayega <coughs> wo to 0 hi ho jayega aur second one x over y plus 2x ban jayega bas so this should be your answer see it once after the class then they are saying solve the system of linear equation 7x1 minus x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 11 और आगे वाली देखो एक बार क्या कहते हैं 2x1 plus 8x2 minus x3 is equal to 9 x1 minus 2x2 plus by using Gauss-Seidel method up to four decimal points है ना four significant figures or four decimal points तो Gauss-Seidel method में क्या करते हैं we this is the iteration कि we place this x2 x1 यहाँ से क्या करेंगे x1 would be there और इसको iterative form में लाने के लिए we have written x k plus one is equal to one by seven 11 minus 11 plus y k तो y z है वो उनको y one बोल दो replace कर दिया हमने इसको और अच्छे से करने के लिए x k x k कर दिया y z से कर दिया भाई x one को हमने replace किया है x k से y one को replace कर दिया y k से y one तो है ही नहीं x two को कर दिया ठीक है और x three को replace कर दिया z k now it is okay. So y k plus one is this, and z k plus one is this. And they had said that initially, go guess solution is x one, x two, x three is equal to zero. So x one is equal to zero. Put karoge, you will get x k is equal to one first iteration me. <coughs> so x one to they rakhay to me. Y one bhi they rakhay zero. Y two z one bhi they rakhay zero. Or yahan se baaki ke iterations ikalte jao, or ye solution ho jayega. We need to use the calculator there so that time be bache or calculation mistakes be na ho. Next, a mechanical system with two degrees of freedom has Lagrangian. This is the Lagrangian of a mechanical system where M, M, W1, W2, K are constant. Find the parameter E so that under the transformation this, the Lagrangian in terms of Q1, Q2 will not contain the product term. That will not contain the product term Q1, Q2. Find the Lagrange's equation with respect to Q1 and Q2 independent of parameter theta. क्या करना है तुम्हें यहाँ पर? Let me tell you. उसके बाद देखते हैं. So I have written the mechanical equations में जो coordinates होते हैं वो कैसे होंगे? So the coordinates here are of the type x is equal to Q1 cos theta minus Q2 sin theta because this is two variable two degree of freedom na so two degree of freedom me we have Q1 and theta Q1 Q2 and theta there so this is going to be y y me kya hoga Q1 sin theta plus Q2 cos theta these are standard equation of coordinates in mechanical system or mechanical system me hai then we will do we require x dot square this is y dot square ye y dot square hai this is, these are printing mistakes. Please solve this. Let me see. Other are. Or to nahi hai. Yehi honge x dot and y dot. So how would you find out x dot? Do its derivative. And the derivative would be partial. Because both q1 and theta are changing. So first you would write q1 dot cos theta as it is. Then write q1 as it is. q1 as it is. And partial derivative of this sine theta with respect to theta that cos theta with respect to theta that is going to be minus sin theta in, into theta dot then you need to do derivative of this that once you will get q dot q2 dot sin theta and minus q2 as it is derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is going to be cos theta into theta dot that is partial derivative of theta similarly you need to find out y dot y dot nikal nena hiya se ye de bhi rakha hai unhone jo values chahiye thi wo de rakhi hai so y dot nikalo and put it there. Then there would be terms of q1 into q2 and put that is equal to 0. Then solve for. Usko 0 put karne ke le baad remove your theta and theta 1. Post theta sin theta se multiply karke add and subtract kar lena. 
जो भी इक्वेशन आएंगी दिस इज वेरी इजी यू जस्ट नीड टू डू सब्सिट्यूशन डेरिवेटिव करने के बाद सिर्फ सब्सिट्यूशन करना था एंड ट्वेंटी मार्कर क्वेश्चन दे रखा था बताओ बहुत ईजी क्वेश्चन था भाई ओके एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज फाइंड द कंजुकेटिव नॉर्मल फॉर्म ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बुलियन फंक्शन ये फंक्शन दे रखा है इसकी यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट कंजुकेटिव नॉर्मल फॉर्म हाउ वुड यू फाइंड आउट द कंजुकेटिव नॉर्मल फॉर्म ऑफ दिस फंक्शन वट इज दिस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम है या सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट है सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दिस इज एक्स वाई जेड वो वैसे तो कुछ भी नहीं है उसको भी प्रॉपर फॉर्मेट में कन्वर्ट करना पड़ेगा लेट्स डू इट कैसे करोगे I have solved this वहीं से करेंगे so that we don't miss out any calculation. Sorry. Yes. उसको हम कंजुगेटिव नॉर्मल फॉर्म में बनाने के लिए कंजंक्शन बिटवीन डिस जंक्शन कंजुगेटिव नॉर्मल फॉर्म क्या होता है कंजंक्शन बिटवीन डिस जंक्शन ठीक है it is given that x dot y dot z plus x bar dot y dot e and this can be written as x bar dot y dot z bar ab to theek hai na and now we will write this into conjunction and dis disjunction format so conjunction mein kya hota hai dot is conjunction and plus is disjunction hai na theek conjunction between disjunction This is going to be this y z plus union union. I will write union and intersection. अपने आप देख लेना वो ठीक है. And this is going to be x bar होता है. This is x bar x intersection y intersection t. E, and this is going to be union intersection x y. This is going to be ठीक है. एंड इट वुड कन्वर्ट इन टू अगर तुम्हें इसे वापिस चेंज करना है किसी और चीज में तो वट विल वी डू चेंज दिस नेगेटिव विद एक्स एंड दिस वुड वी कन्वर्ट इन टू बायन जेड एंड दिस वुड कन्वर्ट इन टू डिस जंक्शन दैट इज इंटरसेक्शन एंड इट वुड बी डिफरेंटली एक्स इंटरसेक्शन माइनस इंटरसेक्शन नहीं दिस टाइम इट वुड बी यूनियन माइनस वाई दिस इज अगेन यूनियन माइनस टोटी Not t, and this is going to be intersection. X हो जाएगा union y and intersection. Okay. And this is what इसको फिर से convert कर देंगे तो it is x bar plus होगा हाँ y bar plus z bar अरे सब में पार आ गया ठीक this converts into dot and this is x Plus y bar plus t bar, and now this would be plus होता है dot होता है हाँ this is x plus y bar plus z and this is that was ऊपर वाला क्या था sum of products and this is product of sums इसी में convert करना था boolean function बस second function express the boolean function this into disjunctive form अब हमें इसे disjunctive form में convert करना है and after that we need to find out truth table तो जो पीछे वाला किया था same steps लेकिन एक चलने हैं and we know तो जब same steps use करके करोगे इस बार you need to convert intersection into union and union into intersection तो final result would be let me write the final result and फिर हम we will draw truth table तो final result होगा f x y z is equal to x y z plus x y z bar plus x y bar z plus x y bar z bar then you have x bar y z and then you have plus x bar y z bar plus x bar y bar z aur ye hona chahiye final solution x plus y plus z ही बनता है बिल्कुल लास्ट में जाके जब ये सब कुछ सोल्व हो जाएगा देन यू वुड बी लेफ्ट विथ 
एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड प्रोडक्ट वाला था ठीक है एंड देन वी विल ड्रो दिस टू टेबल वो तो बहुत इजी बन जाती है एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड की करनी है तो हाउ वुड यू राइट यू हैव टू एंट्रीज लेफ्ट साइड एंड राइट साइड राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड में यू हैव इनपुट एक्स वाई जेड के लिए एंड देन यू हैव आउटपुट तो एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इकट्ठा ही करना है तो कैसे लिखते हो थ्री इनपुट्स हैं एक्स वाई जेड तो एक बार तीनों जीरो जीरो चार जीरो हो जाएंगे चार वन हो जाएंगे देन इसके साथ दो जीरो दो वन दो जीरो दो वन एंड देन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन दीज आर एट केसेस उससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं बनता तो एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड कोई भी एक एंट्री प्लस आई और उससे ही प्लस हो जाएगा ना तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एक एंट्री के प्लस आते ही प्लस हो जाना है तो दिस इज ये तो जीरो है के बाद का सब कुछ वन 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 सब में वन है एटलीस्ट तो दैट इज वन एंड दिस इज द ट्रूथ टेबल so that was it after that we have this solve the partial differential equation this subject to the condition this condition kuch nahi karna bhai direct heat this is what one dimensional wave equation two dimensional we need it agar kuch mushkil hota to this is one dimensional only or you can convert this into curl square u by curl x square 1 by a square into curl square u by How would you solve this? We will usually assume that u x t is function of x x and y t t, so that we can solve this by variable separable method. यहाँ से कल स्केर u by कल x स्केर निकालो, कल स्केर u by कल t स्केर निकालो, वहाँ पर put कर दो. There would be some of the what? Some of the कि ये equal to आता है जो equation बनती है x double square होगा ना? तो x डबल डैश बाई एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाई ए स्क्वायर टी डबल डैश बाई टी और बोथ आर इक्वल सो सिंस बोथ आर द इंडिपेंडेंट फंक्शन एंड दे आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स दे आर इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट के और अब दे आर कॉन्स्टेंट के के से के इक्वल है तो इट कैन बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो ग्रेटर देन जीरो होगा तो वी विल अज्यूम के इज इक्वल टू एम स्क्वायर वेर एम इज ग्रेट एम इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो तो हमेशा पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा और इट कैन बी लेस देन जीरो दैट मीन्स के कैन बी इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ पी स्क्वायर वेर पी इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो और के कैन बी इक्वल टू जीरो तो दीज को टू कंडीशन वुड नेवर गिव अस क्या नहीं देती है ट्रिवियल टू कंडीशन वुड गिव अस ऑलवेज ट्रिवियल सोल्यूशन बट वी रिक्वायर नॉन ट्रिवियल ट्रिवियल क्या होता है एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो और टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो हमें वो तो नहीं चाहिए and we require non trivial solution so only non trivial solution would be provided through x is k is equal to p square minus of p square and then solve these values ye solve karoge to you would end up writing u x t aur u x t tumhara kya aa jaye aa jayega yahan se let me write directly values to u x t jo tumhara aata hai would be summation sin एन पाई एक्स बाय एल इफ एल इज द लेंथ कैपिटल एल दे रखा है क्या जो दिया होगा हाँ दैट इज एल कैपिटल एल तो वो कैपिटल एल ही लेके चलो एन पाई एक्स बाय एल साथ में क्या होगा ई एन कोस एन पाई ई एन कोस ऑफ एन पाई ए टी सी टी होता है ए है यहाँ पे बाय एल प्लस एफ एन साइन एन पाई ए टी बाय एल राइट हाँ और वेर यू कैन कैलकुलेट ई एन का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है टू बाय एल इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एल एफ एक्स वट इज एफ एक्स दैट इज यू एक्स जीरो इन टू साइन एन पाई एक्स बाय एल एन पाई एक्स बाय एल टी एक्स एंड यू एक्स जीरो इज गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू एक्स जीरो इज एक्स तो ये वैल्यू पुट कर लेना देन यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट एफ एन एज वेल ना तो एफ एन क्या होता है टू बाय एल एल से एस टू बाय एन पाई बाय एन पाई 
a integral 0 to l sin n pi x y l into g x where g x is what g x g x hota hai u at x curl u by curl t at x is equal to 0 and that is what in this question curl u by curl t is equal to 1 so ye yahan pe 1 ho jayega and now calculate this and then you will get final solution this is direct question from wave equation first degree wave equation next reduce the partial differential equation this to canonical form how would you reduce first we need to construct yahase is to write into proper format this is going to be curl square z by curl y square minus curl square z by curl x curl y and this is curl z by x side curl y sara minus curl z by curl x plus curl z by curl y 1 plus 1 by x plus z by x plus z by x is equal to 0 and hence we compare this with r r s s r r small r plus s s plus t capital t and plus f of x y z p q equal to 0 so what is r small r is nothing but second order partial derivative with respect to x then you have y not r s small s that is second order partial derivative of z with respect to x and y and then we have cap small t that is second order partial derivative of z with respect to y so compare these coefficients and we will get that r capital r is equal to 0 we don't have any term of second order partial derivative with respect to x then capital s is minus 1 and then we have t is equal to what is t plus 1 so we need to construct after finding out this we need two solution and they would be provided through using some characteristic equation and characteristic equations are find out using the construction of a polynomial e equation which consists of r lambda square plus s lambda plus t is equal to 0 so that equation characteristic equation for characteristic equation we require two lambda and we, that would be provided from here so r is 0 so and s is minus 1 so this is lambda plus 1 is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 1 so characteristic equation from here would be dy by dx plus lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is 1 so this is 1 is equal to 0 and hence it becomes y plus x is equal to some constant say u so this is function. Ho gaya. Second, we are not able to find out what will we do. We will assume let's suppose v is equal to x. You got u and v and what we need to do in reduction to canonical form. You need to convert all these values that is r, s, t, p, q into form of u and v and then subst back substitute these values and you will end up with the yeah canonical form and answer may bata deti hu ki kya aega humara hai u is equal to x plus y v hum assume kar lenge ki x hai it should be linear independent of u to ye linearly independent hai na Haan. and then find out u x that is p not u x p find out kariye wo kya hoga curl z by curl x hota hai and yaha pe kya ho jayega z is function of humne u v bana diya and u v are in return function of x y to v again function of x y so this would be curl z by curl u into curl u by curl x plus curl z by curl v into curl v by curl x similarly you need to find out q that is curl z by curl y and it is going to be curl z by curl u into curl u by curl y plus curl z by curl v into curl v by curl y <coughs> and then you need to find out r that is going to be curl by curl x of p so jo bhi yaha banega do is its partial order partial derivative with respect to x then find out s that is curl by curl y of p and then t that is curl by curl y of q find out all these values and put them into the given equation Jo equation banegi usme put karna hai and that is going to reduce into curl square z by curl u into curl v minus curl z by curl v 
प्लस वन बाय वी इनटू कर जेड बाय कर लियो माइनस जेड दिस इज इक्वल टू क्यों तो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर पार्शियल इक्वेशन या कैनोनिकल फॉर्म ऑफ पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंप्यूट ए रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन लॉग ऑफ दिस लॉग ऑफ दिस फंक्शन दैट द गिवन फंक्शन इन द इंटरवल जीरो थ्री बाय द रेगुलर फॉल्सी मेथड करेक्ट टू सिक्स डेसिमल प्लेसेस अप टू सिक्स डेसिमल प्लेसेस वी रिक्वायर दिस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ दिस यूजिंग रेगुलर फॉल्सी मेथड व्हाट इज द रेगुलर फॉल्सी मेथड पहला रेगुलर फॉल्सी मेथड यू लिख लेंगे तो वो होता है एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई प्लस वन होता है वैसे तो एक्स आई प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई माइनस वन इंटू माइनस एक्स आई माइनस एक्स आई माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई एफ ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस वन एक्स आई माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस वन इंटू एफ ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस वन put these values let me tell you some of the cheat rules here so whenever you start regular falsi method na to you require a root which is very closer to these values inhone interval de diya hame 0 and 3 we cannot check entire values ki we have, we will start from either 0 or 3 ye it would require lot of iterations so whenever you are there in the examination hall first find out using calculator the exact root एग्जैक्ट रूट क्या आता है सपोज इन दिस केस दिस इज टर्निंग आउट टू बी अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन पॉइंट नाइन वन पॉइंट नाइन वन नाइन फाइव ऐसे करके कुछ आ रहा है दैट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन दैट इज क्लोज टू टू सो वट वी विल ट्राई वी विल ट्राई टू यूजिंग आईदर टेक एफ ऑफ टू देयर और आईदर टेक एफ ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव सो दैट यू कैन बी वेरी क्लोज टू दिस रूट और उसके बाद में इटरेशन लगा देनी है यूजिंग कंप्यूटर इसके बाद तो नोट कंप्यूटर कैलकुलेटर तो कैलकुलेटर यूज करके सारा कुछ निकालना है ना यू डस्ट जस्ट नीड टू सोल्व दिस बाय यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर एंड दैट इज द थिंग न्यूमेरिकल के क्वेश्चंस में कुछ समझाने वाला है नहीं लास्ट इज डिटरमाइन अंडर डिटरमाइन अंडर व्हाट कंडीशंस द वेलोसिटी फील्ड यू इज दिस वी इक्वल टू दिस डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू दिस इज ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ नेवियर स्ट्रोक्स मोमेंटम इक्वेशन पहले तो दिस वुड दिस दिस we need to check the equation of continuity <coughs> holds if intense density is constant na Con agar density constant hogi aur uska matlab kya hona chahiye first we need to check is curl u by curl x plus curl u v by curl y plus curl w by curl z u and v may appear similar this should be equal to 0 check this this is going to be 0 ये होने के बाद वी नीड टू राइट मोमेंटम इक्वेशन आई राइट इक्वेशन यू वुड कैलकुलेट दम सो नेवियर स्ट्रोक्स मोमेंटम इक्वेशन क्या होती है दे आर डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट डायमेंशन सो एक्स डायरेक्शन डायरेक्शन के लिए होगी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी रो इन टू यू इन टू कर्ल यू बाई कर्ल एक्स प्लस वी इन टू कर्ल वी बाई कर्ल वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस कर्ल रो ऐसे वाला रो बाय कर्ल एक्स प्लस एच टाइम्स कर्ल स्क्र यू बाय कर्ल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस कर्ल स्क्र वी बाय नोट वी यू ही होगा कर्ल बाय स्क्र दिस वन ठीक है एंड आफ्टर दैट ये सारी वैल्यूज कैलकुलेट करो एंड फ्रॉम हियर फाइंड आउट कर्ल ये वाला सिंबल जो कर्ल रो बाय कर्ल एक्स है फ्रॉम यहां से यू विल फाइंड आउट पी एंड दैट पी वुड बी सम फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड प्लस सम कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन आता है उसको हम कह देंगे फाइव ऑफ वाई जेड क्योंकि x के रिस्पेक्ट में तो पार्शियल डायरेवेटिव है ही जो बच गया उस अपोजिट के रिस्पेक्ट में बचेगा सेकेंड <coughs> y डायरेक्शन में भी लिखना है एंड इन y डायरेक्शन u वुड बी रिप्लेस बाय v एंड एवरीथिंग वुड बी सेम यहाँ भी u ही है सब जगह u है बाकी एवरीथिंग वुड बी सेम एंड कर्ल x वुड बी रिप्लेस बाय कर्ल y कर्ल एक्स वुड बी रिप्लेस बाई कर्ल वाई ना यस कर्ल एक्स बाई कर्ल वाई कर्ल वो तो सेम है दोनों जगह यहाँ पे इट वुड बी रिप्लेस बाई कर्ल वाई एंड देन यहाँ से जो फंक्शन आएगा वो फाइव ऑफ एक्स जेड आएगा एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव द इनिशियल कंडीशन दिस कंडीशन तो बाई यूजिंग दैम यू कैन फाइंड आउट फाइव जेड एंड द फाइव जो आएगा एक्स वाई के रिस्पेक्ट में है साई एक्स जेड फाइंड बोथ ऑफ दैम and then you would be able to find out this p under what condition the velocity of this is 
solution of novier satis novier navier stack's momentum equation and that would be your required solution so that was it this was paper 2 <coughs> in the fluid and mechanics it may seem that questions were difficult but they they were not difficult that much they were direct question that using for the formula only thing you need to do is at least do the you see you cannot do the entire syllabus of fluid mechanics that this time it was easier sometime it is very difficult and you cannot solve a 20 mark question of fluid mechanics whenever it comes about fluid and mechanics languages then but there are some of the topics that may appear in the exam aur wo bahut easy hai bhai usse zyada easy to tumhe odpd se bhi easy mil jate hain kabhi kabhi the questions are इस बार का हमने लैंग्वेजियन मल्टीप्लाई लैंग्वेजेस का क्वांटम वाला किया था मैकेनिकल सिस्टम दैट वाज वेरी इजी दैट वाज डायरेक्ट एप्लीकेशन जो भी दे रखा है उसके डायरेक्ट करनी थी ना और कुछ नहीं कर रखा जो दिया है उसका डेरिवेटिव करके पुट करना है सो दैट इज वेरी इजी सो द कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज लैंग्वेजियन एंड हैमिल्टन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज इजी देन पाथ ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन दीस आर इजीयर वन एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द फ्लूइड वी हैव थोड़े से और इजी भी क्वेश्चन होते हैं जहाँ स्टार्टिंग में हाँ पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्टिन्यूटी एंड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वाले होते हैं तो एटलीस्ट यू शुड डू दैट इज वेर मिनिमम कि एटलीस्ट यू डोंट मिस आउट अपॉन कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज इट डिफिकल्ट इट मे सीम्स डिफिकल्ट बट इतना डिफिकल्ट पेपर नहीं था पेपर टू का दैट वॉज इजियर वन इजियर तो ठीक है चलो मैम आप बाहर तो इजियर बोल देते हो बट इट वॉज डूएबल इट वॉज मैनेजेबल थोड़ा सा भी अगर प्रैक्टिस किया है तो इट वॉज मैनेजेबल है ना तो ओके सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम बाय थैंक यू